recording and hello everybody this is our fifth theme thursday uh if you're watching us on youtube um uh, we're gonna have uh these every other thursday go ahead and to uh go to pssc go to our calendar or events uh and you'll be able to see when we're gonna have our next uh theme thursday and uh and who's uh, which member uh is uh, uh pick the pick the theme for that thursday so Again, it's very casual. You can work on uh, with uh, along with a the theme, uh, but you can work on anything you want. You can you don't even have to work. You can come and just chat with us and have a good time and uh, pick your pick your beverage. Today it's coffee for me since I'll be up I'll be up late. Uh, but this is this is a, a community of uh, pastelists who love to create and share, and we're coming around from all over the globe. For instance, today we're uh, we have Carol Oakley all the way from uh, Melbourne, Australia. Who's going to who pick the theme? Oh, wow. Who pick the theme? Clouds. And so, Carol, what time is it in Melbourne right now? Well, it is eleven thirty a.m. Oh, well, quarter to twelve. So, it's morning. Right uh, in the future, right? So it's it's Ooh, wow. <laughs> it is actually Friday yes, for well, you. Yes. yes, yes, it's Friday. <laughs> it's Thursday night for us. So, by the way, uh, we have our theme Thursdays at six thirty p.m every other Thursday at Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and we have members again from all over the globe. So we have uh, people coming in from different states and, and having joining in, in the fun. So, um, you know, with that, Carol, uh, I'm gonna leave this to you and uh, tell us why you picked the theme clouds. What, it, what is it that in, inspires you? What gets you going, uh, you know, when you see clouds? And so let me, uh, let me spotlight you just for a second as you do your intro. And, See. There you I go, and, right. and you're on. I, I often think of Charlie Brown when I think of clouds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and lying on your back and looking at clouds and seeing all the shapes and all of that is just an artist's dream. But why do I think clouds? Uh, I'm very keen on plein air painting and that's what I tend to do most of the time. I, I paint from life. And I was out plein air painting one day and I thought, what am I going to do? And I couldn't see anything in my immediate vision. And I thought, oh, I looked up and I saw these clouds and I thought, oh, wow. Yeah, you know how you get that, 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 oh, wow moment. Yeah. That was it. I started painting clouds. And then every day after that for about, I don't know, a month, I'd go out and look at the clouds and different times of days and just got so hooked up in doing it. So now it's something that when I go plein air painting, I'm not supposed to be doing that, but I'll look up and go, oh, I think I'll rather do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's why I got hooked on them. Yeah, and, and uh, it, it really is amazing how much you can learn from painting a cloud. I know, I know this weekend, I spent this uh, past weekend, they had to be uh, at a, at a, a plein air event with Joe, Joe Mancuso and with Mary Aslan. And I remember uh, and Joe uh, was waiting around for these clouds to come about, right? And, uh, and because they are, they, they're really magnificent. Uh, there's so many different color temperatures in there, right? You can have your cool grays and I was, you know, your cool grays, your warm grays. And there's so much that goes on with the light bouncing on and, and through the, the, the clouds that you, you get some wonderful uh, colors and, and it's just it's just amazing. So. Anyhow, um, uh, uh, back to you. And uh, and and how do you go about painting your your clouds? Is there is there a certain step that you take, or or do you just go with the flow? Pretty much, I narrow in. I said to someone the other day, I'm a zoomer in a rough. All all my paintings, I tend to zoom in on. I always have. And the same with the clouds. So I won't try and do a whole sky full of clouds. I'll just zoom in on one part of it and concentrate on that. And we know how fast clouds disappear and move. Yeah. So it's at the same time training a visual memory, which at this age can be a bit of a struggle, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll just show you one here. Okay. So if you can see that one there. Yes, yes. 
So that's just taking a, a, a part of the clouds that are going past. And I did the block in really quickly, but by the time I come back to finish this, like to put the pastel on and finish uh -huh. it off, so much had moved and it was a case of going, you will, from my blocking, I can remember where the darks were because I, I've got those in. So then it was just a case of watching the other clouds to see how they were forming and taking that information and putting it back into this one. So I call it a little bit like a put and take. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I, I, I love the I love the grays and the blues and and and, and there's there's lost edges, found edges, just like in a cloud, just like in a cloud. So it's beautiful work, beautiful work, Carol. Uh, all Thank right. You. Well, uh, you know what? At this point, you guys, I'm going to uh, remove the spotlight and feel free to pin if you wish. And uh, happy pinning, everybody. It's uh, it's about ten to seven, so we're going to do this for uh, a little for another a little over an hour and. Uh, Let's have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. And guys, I'll have to tell you, I talk a lot when I paint. That's good. Okay. okay. That's okay. Great. So if you guys ever want to say anything, you better just talk over me. <laughs> All right. Okay. But just quickly, I'll tell you how I'm going to start with this one. I've got the photo. I don't know if anyone's doing this along with me. Uh, and this is the one that I did on the day that that photo is taken from. And you can notice how different the colours are. And you already know that from photos. So what I thought today I'd do is just take a small section of this. And I use my viewfinder, which is the same shape as the paper. And I just put it out, I hold it out and I find a shape that I like. And what I found earlier was something that, matches my paper shape that comes in there. Well, can't draw a straight line. Great idea. Yeah, right? Right, so straight away I'm down into that. Oh. So you can get many paintings out of one reference. Um, if you wanted to, and now I've lost the tape, you can take that off so you don't get distracted by the rest of it. Right. Yeah. What an idea. Yeah, and then the other thing is, if you do your, there's your halfway marks, and you do that on here, then it's easy to transfer it if you want it the same. Right. So I'll look in there and go, whoop, that's kind of something fluffs over there, heads down to the halfway of the halfway. That's straight across about there. So I just look for shapes, might come in a bit further. Uh, that's going down into there, kind of does that. This is coming out of there. So I say I talk to myself as I do this all the time. Um, that's only a little bit in there, kind of comes down. Then we've got that shape there. Uh, got a lot of dark there. I don't mind using the charcoal to put in some of the darks as I go because I'll get lost otherwise. Uh, Carol, are you using willow charcoal? Yes, I am. Willow yeah. charcoal, and yeah. I'm using Art Spectrum Color Fix Medium Tooth Paper in the color Australian Grey. And, and just so our members know that willow charcoal is very easy to remove, and that's why it's a it's a good it's a good uh, oh, really? it's a good medium it's a good medium yeah, to, cool. to to lay down for your initial drawing because it moves so easily. How do that fine charcoal? No, pine charcoal, there you go. It's the difference between willow charcoal and pine charcoal. Okay. Willow charcoal actually is, is uh, less of a mark maker in such a way. So will it, so, so vine charcoal uh, tends to be, uh, it tends to be uh, more staining than willow. Mm. And the other thing is, if you're like me and you really need to see where things are, I'll put a heavy line across there, which is there. Uh, this one I'd heavy up so I can see it. Now, I know this is going to make a mess of my lovely light and airy clouds, but I'll just quickly show you a way that you can have this, like have your cake and eat it too. So there's your shapes running up there. And what I do is get a heavy cloth, mm -hmm. like an old face washer. So just excuse me while I duck under the camera. <laughs> 
Oh, there you go. Um, oh, so old face washer. Make sure it's clean and it's got no other charcoal or pastel on it. Uh, and then I do this. There you go. <laughs> you get rid of your own. You beat it like a bad husband. Sorry, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, if someone's been giving you the pip, you can do that and get rid of your frustrations. And then, as Otto said, this comes off. If you want to get back even lighter, you can just take it back. Mm -hmm. But the stain's still there. You can still see your roadmap. Okay. Um, I, and if the pencil that I used there, that's a Lumicolor permanent. So it's a wax pencil that writes on plastics and glass and things like that. It's made by Stadler. And the beauty of it too is it comes off. Leaves a bit of an oily mark, but it does come off. Oh. So that's a handy tool. Okay, so you guys might want to do your own thing. <laughs> Carol, <laughs> Sorry, Carol can you repeat the name of that, please? Yes, it's by Stadler, made in Germany. Loom O Color Permanent. Yeah. I'll type it in the feed for you. Uh, another good thing is uh, Lynn bought us a few of these, and this is another great eraser, you guys. Oh, nice. The tri tip. Tri tip. That works really good on your. Oh, okay. And, and, and um, you know, I, I'm thinking she, she's using Color Fix. Never tried on color fix, but uh, but it's worth a shot if you guys want to try that eraser as well. Yeah, I've never seen that one. Yeah, it's great. It's a generals generals tri tip eraser. Yeah, that that's not a you don't see a lot of general stuff here. Ah, I mean, I bought some charcoal pencils yesterday. Uh, just want to get this back in. Don't have to draw all the, the fuzzy bits, just the general shape. Now, I believe you guys use a lot of icy coal. A lot, a lot of what? I'm sorry, Carol. Icy coal. Oh no, I I I've never heard of that. Icy coal? No, I've never heard it. Oh oh, are you, oh well, we have. Wait, hold on. Isopropyl. Like alcohol? Oh, yeah, isopropyl alcohol. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Alcohol. <laughs> isopropyl. Okay. Isopropyl. Isopropyl. Oh, but I, it's a brand type. Okay, isopropyl. Okay, no, yeah. Isopropyl alcohol, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's great when you're playing air painting because it dries so fast. Yeah, I like to, yeah, I like to use a 91. Yeah, um, we use metho, or I use methylated spirit. Mm -hmm. it comes, it's tinted purple here, so you don't drink it. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing, and it just dries really quickly. But I live in a very dry climate, so I just use the old H2O. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I don't know. I'll just continue on. I'm so used to doing demonstrations and talking my way through it that for me to be quiet is gonna that's what I say it's gonna be hard. <laughs> don't worry. No worries. No worries. Like, this is this is everyone's night. You don't need me to be sitting here going nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm just blocking in with a big chunk of uh, art spectrum's blue grey. It's just such a beautiful colour for our clouds here. A bit at the back. Just like to get my darks in. I'm following the photo, not the original mm -hmm. paint. So I'm getting that luminous blues and mauve colours. Once I get the cools in, I'll look for the warms. And this is slightly warmer because it's got a little bit of pink in it. Still purple, but it's got a little bit of pink in it. Not many places it can go. And remember, this is all going to get washed in. Oh, I've got this great colour. I love this. This is Art Spectrum's 
extra soft square pastel and it's a purple gray. Always got to find somewhere that I can use it. Mind you, these art spectrum big square ones don't play nicely with water. What some of those? Does anyone else block in first? Anybody? Or is it just me? I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of working along with you. Oh, okay, great. Um, I usually put the sky in last, but we better do this today. Big blocking stroke, straight up and down. Goes into the shapes, doesn't sit along the line. And I probably want to get a little bit more of the cerulean a bit lower. So I'm just adding turquoise. Right, that's, that's all I do to start because I mainly get these darks in and when I wash them in, I dilute it to get the mid-tones. I like the idea of the value chart that you have there. That's a good idea. And the blues kind of. Yeah, it's really handy because you can often get stuck and go, oh, it's dark and it's that dark when it actually isn't. This is just a canvas one I made myself, so it's got white paint in the wrong spot. But if you sit it on there, you can see you're coming down here. Ah. So you're down to it like a six. And even on the, the real one that was done outside, you can see how it, you know, the darkest dark, there's a six. So it's really nothing too dark. Photos darken the darks and lighten the lights. But having one of these is ideal to just check those things so that over here you don't go too dark. Right. I really chop that white edge off. That's distracting. So yeah, just line it along. Yeah. Now I swing it along. And there's yeah. my six. I like having all these handy things. <laughs> Okay, I'll use the isocol because that's what you guys use. I'll just, oh, well, you don't call it isocol. What, what did you call it? Um, <laughs> isopropyl <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> and I've just decanted some out of the spray bottle into the jar. Okay, starting in the really darks. And I use a fan brush so I can get some great abstract shapes. Trouble is you have to use a lot of this because it dries so fast. This is that art spectrum one that doesn't play nicely. Uh, and remember, pastel's going over this, so it really doesn't matter if you. Excuse me, uh, Carol, are you are you using that fan brush to get the pastel wet with water or alcohol? Alcohol. Okay. And you know what? It's nearly well. You guys can have drinks. You're, it's in the time zone, isn't it? I've yeah. got to wait. I've got to wait to another five hours. <laughs> and, and, and just to know, some, somebody's uh, somebody's TV is in the background or radio. If you don't mind, just uh, either muting or or if you can lower that. Carol, just remember it's five o'clock somewhere. Yes, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm leaving some of the the whites the clean paper for some of the whites. But you can see how by diluting what's on your brush, you can um, get lighter tones. Uh, so we're, I'm looking at the chat and uh, Lynn is, 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 is a good reminder. Thank you, Lynn, that we are looking for a couple of people to host our upcoming theme Thursday in June. Any takers? 
uh, it's really easy and you don't need to do a demo. Just pick a theme and show up. Send me a couple of pieces of your art that fit the theme and a little paragraph write up that I can send out on MailChimp. Let me know. So uh, thanks, Lynn. It, and, and if anybody, I mean, obviously you saw our MailChimp that Lynn put together for Carol's, uh, for Carol's theme. So, you know, it, it's, it's fun. And, and again, it's, it's uh, this is, this theme Thursdays are all about being stress-free and just having a good time. So um, yeah, so if anybody wants to pick a theme, let us know. That's a great way to get together. Yeah. I'm just using a, a old rag cloth here, just cotton cloth. <laughs> I'm a tonalist, I suppose, in training, so I do tend to want to wipe back. Just take some of those off, put some more tone on in other places. And I'm just going to rub that in by hand. And that will do. Got to wait for that to dry off. I'll get you a close up of it. So this is on the other camera. I oh, let's, okay, let me let's see that. Yeah, okay. If anybody wants to pin the other camera, um, oh, it's a bit hard. It's blocking. So you can add pins, by the way, uh, if you guys don't know that. You can add a pin. So you can actually have two windows, one on top of each other or side by side. Sorry, I'm blocking your view. Oh, it's snowing. Damn. Where is it snowing? In Nevada. <laughs> is it? <laughs> wow. Yes. We're having a blizzard. Who's coming in from Nevada? Me, Linda Townsend. Linda, how you doing, Linda? Wow. Good. Oh, in, in Nevada. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. no. A I real wanted to go there next week. weekend. Our gallery was having a wine walk tonight, and I <laughs> skipped the wine walk to watch the, the Zoom. Oh. I'm glad I did. I won't have yes. to drive in the snow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I covered up my tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, my goodness. We have to drive um, probably, I don't know, 24 hours, if you're quick, to get down to the snow. What part of Australia? I'm in just out of Brisbane in Queensland. Oh, yes, I know it very well. I have friends in Brisbane, I had friends. In Brisbane. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, Carol. I thought you were coming in from uh, Melbourne. No, no. Um, I'm Brisbane. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's all right. Things happen. It's not far. It's just down the other end of the country. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's like saying um, you're coming in from Canada. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're all friends. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that to dry off a little bit. You can feel it. If it's cold, it's not dry. And also the paper's got a bit of a buckle to it. And yeah, I should have done one prepared early and whizzed that out like they do in MasterChef or something. Uh, you, could, you could do like, you can do like Micah Chicago with scraps of blow dryer. It's handy really? blow dryer. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. As I say, usually because it's so warm here, I don't have to worry about those things. But today, it's not warm. <laughs> we had an eight degrees overnight, and I think it's struggling to get to about 19 today. But that's Celsius and your Fahrenheit. So, right. 20, so that's about 52 or 53 degrees. Oh. Well, that's right. You're you're coming up on. Uh, you're in fall right now. Is that right? Yeah, the end of coming into winter. Ah. Yeah, so yeah, we're trying is... to get out of winter. Oh, so do I. <laughs> it's funny. 
um, I've gone over to Greece teaching travel tours many, many years running at this time of the year. And since COVID come, have been able to go and I'm not due to 23 to be able to go. So I'm having winter at home. That's oh. a whole new experience. <laughs> My husband's wrapped because he just loves the cold. <laughs> I can't, I can't cope with it. <laughs> and and Otto, yeah, I used to live in Melbourne. I grew up in Melbourne, or oh, well, a suburb. Well, I don't know why. I don't know why. I think you mentioned Melbourne, Melbourne at one time, and I think it just stuck in my head. Yeah, yeah. Well, I grew up at the beach. Um, <laughs> down south of Melbourne, where the penguins come in from the Antarctic. Oh, and, I know where that is. Yeah, see? And so that's why I moved up to lovely Queensland, where it's always warm. And so when we get freezing cold, <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm leaving home. You don't get to see penguins in a zoo, Carol. Do you know how cool that is? Yeah. <laughs> never see penguins anywhere but in a zoo. <laughs> right. You know, and, and just, are you just, over uh, by Adelaide or near Kangaroo Island? No, um, that's down the bottom end of the country. Where I grew up was across from there, a day and a half drive. So on the same line, but just across. So we had penguins on Phillip Island, the fairy penguin parade. It's still a tourist attraction today. They're, they're wild. They just come in to nest in the sand dunes. I've been all over Australia. All right. over down under. Perth. Not many people have. The only part I haven't been to is the far northwest. No, I've not been up there either. That's on my bucket list. Pretty much what I'm doing here is just re-establishing some of those darks with a very light touch of blocking pastel because I want to now rub some of this in. And I'm just going to move now out of the darks into lights but it's going to go over areas that I'm going to rub together to get a mid-tone because if you see my pastels there I don't know if you can see all of that get my thumb out of the way there's not a lot of darks they're mainly mid-tones and a few lights and the other thing I didn't tell you guys is I love colour so just watch out when you start seeing some colour come in and go, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> but that's just makes us all individuals. God, I love the feel and the sound of the pastel. It's just really exciting. Let's get some lighter ones coming in there. Remember, all of this is just going to get rubbed together. Just tell me to be quiet. <laughs> but we are going to conversation. <laughs> I was worried the accent might be a bit difficult. Oh, no. It's wonderful. Yeah, we like hearing it. Yeah. We're no, used no, to hearing about the shrimp on the Barbie. So. Oh, another prawn on the Barbie. Yes, Still love the surf. Beautiful. Don't you just love it when you get into the pastel and you, I jump all around the reference so I don't get bogged down in one area and start to follow it too slavishly. And you can see that a lot of this is going to start losing where that is because I will just keep building and getting ready to blend some areas. I want to get some of that lovely pink. This is Australian grey. It's a colour out of Art Spectrum. It's a pinky cream colour, but it's almost white. I just want that through that section. Because remember, it's going to blend. 
And you can see how these clouds are starting to build up already, can't you? Oh, yeah. And it's, it's just the variation of pressure that I'm using through here. I have a bit more there. Just work that into that a bit. And then I'll change over to the, the lighter blue, blue gray. So I'm coming in down in this bottom run. Just to I love turning the pastel on the sides and getting these beautiful shapes. We went playing a week. The Pastel Society of Australia did a plain air session the other day, Tuesday down on the Sunshine Coast, which is the beach. And we were at um, all these beautiful reflections and pond. Oh, gee, it was nice. Just so good to be somewhere that's uh, different to home. But how do you guys get on with COVID at the moment and not being able to travel? Can you travel? Uh, yes. 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 Um, it's all yes. open in Nevada. Right. That's good to hear. Yeah, we don't have any restrictions at the moment. We've been so fortunate with our governments just shutting down each state when we get a case or um, someone comes in from overseas, which they've stopped now, um, and the quarantine failed because someone decided they were going home to see their family and just security didn't pull them up. Um, so anyway, other people have snuck through borders but they all get caught and they all get sent home and fined hugely. Mm. And fortunately, we haven't had any COVID cases from most of that action. You can understand people wanting to see families, but it's just not on when they come in from overseas. They do a two week quarantine in a motel or hotel with um, everything delivered to the door. Government pays for it. Wow. And then they're released home. Okay, so are you able to move from one st one part of the country to the other, like from Perth to New, to New South Wales? Most of the time we can, but as I say, occasionally you might get a, a rogue case that they're trying to isolate and find where that person went. And so they'll shut the state or they'll shut Greater Brisbane or Greater Sydney so that no one can come in and out. Wow. Okay, we've got no shuts at the moment. I uh, haven't had any for quite some time, but when it was earlier this year, yeah, we had them, you'd shut state borders and they'd have people there so that you couldn't come in and out. And it, even if you worked on one side of the border and lived on the other, which happens here in Queensland, that was really tough. Those people had to stay home. And of course, jobs get lost, which I'm sure you guys have had that as well. Oh, yeah. well I'm just having a little play here, stopped in my own little world. <laughs> as I say, I'm one to keep talking as I'm thinking. Are you getting your shots over there? Um, yes, the shots are available now to 50 years and above. So everyone in that age group is encouraged to go and get their shot. Oh, um, It's available at your doctors or the hospitals. So you just roll up and go and get it. There's a bit of a problem with Australians going, nah, not having it, not doing what you tell me. Oh. <laughs> There's that, we had that attitude. attitude. <laughs> it's like, get out if you want me to have it. 
I'll have it in my I wonder if they're still spraying people before they get off the planes. Because when I first went to Australia in 88, you could, they'd sprayed us all before we left the plane. That's <laughs> dreadful, isn't it? And no, that continued that. until the Olympics. No, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> but I know what you mean. When I first come back from overseas in the 80s, they walked down the plane with a spray can in each yes. arm spread out, just held the button down. Right. Uh, <laughs> I always love that. Uh, we just all used to just choke. <laughs> Yeah, what a, what an introduction to a country. <laughs> I know. I'm just just fishing out a, a greenish colour that I can see in there. Trouble is, when you start putting greens into clouds here, they represent um, hailstones. So if we get clouds with green in them, run for cover. Because uh, it just means you're going to get hail like you have never seen. And it's a really pretty green. It's like um, Antarctic green. Yeah, over here, if you see green in the clouds, it means a tornado. Oh, oh. wow. I was going to say toxic for mobile. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so that's a bit of a build up there. I'll just leave it sit for a minute because I'm going to blend a lot of that and then I'm going to put some more pastel on the top. So I want to see what you guys are doing. All right, well, let's see. Because I've got my back to the camera. All right, let me. Uh... Okay, I can show you mine. There you go. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't know if it's going up or well, but anyway, <laughs> that's hi, Christine. Hi. <laughs> right. No one else is Ooh. showing. Ooh. Come on, guys. <laughs> Show and tell. Christine, let me see that again. If you don't mind. Okay. Well, I, I okay, just so want to see it. I just want to see it on. I want to see it on camera real quick here. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, look okay. how that just. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, it's got some problems, but anyway, but thank you. <laughs> now you've got lovely build up a tone in there. Oh, thank you. I think that's the hardest thing when you, doesn't matter what you're painting, so long as you get your tone in correctly at the start, you're home and hosed. You can, you can deal with texture and edges and colour and all of that business, but yeah, you know, your drawings, your bones and your tones, your muscles. So if you don't get those two right to start with, it can all easily go to pop. Mm -hmm. I'm just dying to get my fingers into this. <laughs> so I suppose I better. Okay. I don't use gloves to blend, nor do I use wipes or anything like that because they leave stains on the hands. So I just use this cloth, I, not that one, that's the taking charcoal off. I use the old sheet one and just keep my hands clean that way. Um, what I'm going to do is start down in the darks. I'm not going to completely blend it because I want some of that underpainting to show through. So I'm really just lightly touching some of this in the direction that they're growing. Okay. Wow. Because if you don't use direction when you do this, you're not going to get the feel of the clouds going up like that. And that's part of the process to, to show how they're changing form and building and oh, all that exciting stuff that happens. Okay. So just very lightly touching it more than rubbing it in, just softening some of it. As I said earlier, some areas I will blend the colours together, but not to overdo it, just to um, set the scene for the next layer. So you can see how you're getting that fluffy, airy business happening. 
that stands out like the proverbials, but that those edges all just get softened by doing that, mixing it in with the colour behind it. Okay. Oops, sounds like the lunch monitor's arrived. And I keep looking around the whole thing and saying, well, what does need pushing in and what doesn't? And up in here, just going very, very gently. Because some of these blocks of colours I'm really, really liking. So I don't want to destroy them by over blending. But I do want to get rid of the edges on a lot of it. So I need to soften down. Do a bit of colour mixing. Okay, let's rub that one in. Has anyone seen any faces in their clouds so far? <laughs> I'm serious because I finished a cloud and someone said that they could see a face in it. And then they started finding lots of faces and so did I. I was too scared to go back and rub their faces off. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take out some little bits here. Old bristle brush. Just takes out those edges there. Um, helps me get back to the underpainting and to clean paper. Down into there a bit more. So that's going to have a bit of white on there. That needs to pretty much soften into there. Okay, next layer of pastel. So this time again, I'll start um, with the mid-tones. The darks are pretty set. It, it's quite a powerful lot of darks. And if I feel that they're too dark, then I'll come back in and lighten them. But at this stage, they're okay for now. So I'm going to come in with this light one. This is an ultramarine blue art spectrum again. I just want to sneak in these lights. And this is the part I absolutely love this when you've got the art spectrum paper or any paper with a really good tooth and the pastel just slides over it like that. And see how it lets the under show through? That's the bit that excites me. You know, uh, Carol, uh, Art Spectrum is based in Australia or? Yes. It's Australia, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's based in Melbourne. And, 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 and how, do you, how, do you like their, how do you like the pastels? How do you like the pastels? I love their extra soft, their new ones. And these old soft. round ones are really workhorses for me uh, I've used them for years and years only because living in a country area we don't have an art shop and these are the only pastels you can get at the news agents mm. so that's why I've been using them but I do like them anyway so you're saying they have a new line a new line of soft pastels yes they've got a new line of extra soft pastels mm. um, they're big. I just bought some from Dakota. You did? Yeah. Yes. They're, they're big Dakota pastels like has them. They're beautiful. They maybe, are. Maybe it's uh, maybe something we might want to raffle off so that some of the members get to try them. Yeah, they, they've got a higher pigment load than the round ones. They're in a square format. That That's nearly a full pastel. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. they're really yeah. easy to hold. They're very okay. similar. Terry Ludwig is a smaller pastel and slightly firmer. Mm. These are slightly larger and much softer. Wow. So, as I said, the only thing is they don't particularly play nicely with um, water or underpainting with any wet uh, stuff but otherwise they're really, really lovely to use. They're so, so soft. The, the pastel just yeah. pulls off. Yeah, they also break. They break, oh my word, they break. 
Yep, you said that right. Just working into the lights now. Sometimes the size of these is really hard to use because you only want a little bit. So it's just a case of uh, you can break them, uh, make them fit your own. I'm not much for breaking them, particularly when they're new. Uh, that one has been broken, but oh, it's a surprise it's still in its packet. Um, wandering along through here. I am going to lighten this down. Lighten it up, I should say, just to get some variation in there. That's better. Sometimes it just gets too dark. So just aiming for that airiness, that lightness, that lift. And if this is too dark, change it. Uh, we have a question for you, Carol. Uh, what green are you using in Art Spectrum, if anyone knows? What green are you using? What's that, Carol? It it's like a raw umber. So, okay. So it's a, a greenish umber. Greenish umber. I put it on the side there. I'll, I'll clean it even and hold it in close. It is, I don't know if it's an art spectrum. It feels like it is. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, raw umber, greenish umber, very light. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that's all the, the cool bits. Now we'll get in there with the lights. I've got two lights. I've got a um, warm white. To put my box of pastels down. I, I have to clean the whites because uh, they get stained so easily. They pick up all the other colours because they're the ones that are used on top. So I do have to clean those as I go. Now I'm just going to start really pushing hard to get some of these lights in there. Taking notice of the direction of light. So I'm still using like a blocking stroke, but I'm pushing in. And how's all the entries going for making your mark? I know you've got lots of entries. You know, we ha I haven't checked. Uh, Chris, do you know, or are we, we don't know how many entries we have just yet? I I don't at the moment because oh. I just got back from a four day camping trip and I don't know what's going on. No worries, <laughs> no worries. We still have some time. So uh, this is a good, that's why Theme Thursdays are, are great. So we can motivate each other to, to get some pieces into the show. Uh, yeah, so July 15 is our deadline. Uh, so we still got some time. Bit of time. So Chris, will you give me a shout? I left you a message. Oh, on your oh. Phone. I, I will. I'm sorry. Like I said, I've been out of town for yeah, yeah. since Sunday. Uh, I, and, and you probably haven't got around to all the messages, but uh, give me a shout because I'm compiling a whole uh, list and I want to see how we can divvy it up. Okay, I will. I'll get back to you tomorrow. Yeah, fine. Okay. So... Um, I've got a I've got a pastel here from the uh, Destination Art Associates show, and it's um, it's a pastel of a sunset, and it's it, you know you don't think of these as clouds in Carol's um, uh, method of you know expressing these formations, but you know the evening sky is also full of complexities, and. Uh, do you mind if I try and share the screen? Oh, hold on a second. 
uh, we're, we're actually going through uh, through PIN. So if anybody wants to see that, Bernard, they'll, they'll pin you real quick. Well, I'll just, uh, oh, you've disabled my screen sharing. Okay. I, I've, I've actually got it on my computer screen, but um, I have another one that I can hold up, which is more like uh, early-ish morning, and that's on Redondo Beach. And mm -hmm. I always see a lot of violets uh, around the coast here, and that may not be so much evident inland. Uh, Carol, are your clouds inland, away from the beach? The, you know, the, the, yeah, yes, they are, Bernard, they are inland. And yeah. you still get a bit of the pinky colour in there and we get a warm grey, a lot of warm grey. Yeah, I see that. And, yeah. I've got, uh, and I tend to see, you know, more of these uh, violets, uh, especially when, when, yeah. when, when the sun is breaking through. Um, I was out down on the coast. Yeah, which uh, I, I, I live about a mile and a half from the beach, so I, I kind of see things a little bit differently with a lot more violet. Um, if, if I go inland, I see less of it for some reason. It's, it is possibly it's the water vapor that we associate uh, around yeah. the coast, you know, uh, just an observation really. No, it, that's, that's absolutely it. The coastal clouds have a lot more water vapor in them because they're lifting off the ocean. Yeah. I mean, sometimes inland where they come over a range, We've got a mountain range behind us. When the cloud comes over that, they've lifted. Gotcha. Uh, most times they've dropped their rain, but they've still got a bit of color in them mm -hmm. because there's still a bit of water left in them. Right. But you're absolutely right. The coast is much more colorful because I used to live on the coast and paint a lot over there. Yep. Um, so I know what you're talking about. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's unusual. <laughs> I'm just softening a lot of this as I'm going through here. I'm not talking so much as I'm concentrating. Sure. Oh, that's why I really love it, girl. I really love it. But I have put the purples into this one, Bernard, because I just love um, building up a lot of colour in there. Yes. And I'm probably going to freak a lot of people out when I come in shortly and start putting in some of that turquoise. Yeah, I look forward to the turquoise. I think it's a it's a lovely colour that's so prevalent, especially here in Southern California. After rainstorms, is... especially. Yeah, yeah. And it's just touches of that through there that help, um, I think, with your clouds. You got to be careful. You don't want to put it all all the way through, but just some areas of it can, say, bring that a little bit forward because there's more colour. That one I can dull down a bit more and push yeah. that and, back. And of course, as you look at clouds, you know, as you know, you get clouds that are just maybe a mile from you, and then there's other clouds five miles from you, and they can, uh, and then fifty miles, and they all get bunched up, and yeah. you've got to kind of use your colours to give it uh, a colour perspective or tonal perspective. Um, yes, perspective, yep, tonal well, perspective. Uh, as, as you were saying, you know, tonal or um, there's a different terminology for it, but it amounts to how far away something is. That's right, yes. And that's what I'm doing here, just putting that bit of blue in there to help push that one back a bit. Mm -hmm. And give a separation to the one in front. Mm -hmm. Down here, because um, it's really hard working from the photo when I know that we don't. Yes. <laughs> this isn't right. <laughs> no, and of course the photo can be very um, misleading, especially when you photograph clouds uh, during sunset because they. The clouds that are in front of the sun, obviously, they always come out darker on the standard iPhone. Um, mm -hmm. They are, in fact, much more translucent and lighter than the camera uh, shows them to be. And this is just the natural nature of um, digital photography. It, it, it gets things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm just using the side of my palm there just to take pastel off and just give you the feeling of it sweeping up there. So yeah. it's all softened and you're not so much looking down there as you're going to be looking up here. And I'll just use a brush to take some of that back if need be. There's some beautiful detail on the reference down in there. Yes. But um, I'm really not going to be looking at it. No, well, I like the composition that you've made from the photo. Oh, thank you. Yeah, sometimes it's, I say you, I start with that and end up with that. <laughs> Go off on my own little journey. So that's all softened down a bit. I want that angle through there. And in here, I really want that ledge. There's a bit more lights in there. And then I'm going to come in with the titanium white because that was warm white. Yep. And the titanium white is fairly neutral. It's like painting with toothpaste. <laughs> with the red stripe in it? <laughs> 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 no. Okay, so I've, I've got a really large piece of this. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I've had this forever because it was um, one of those things. And because I don't use a lot of white, I mainly use colour. So this is really unused. And you can see how it's picking up the blue of the sky now, which I could have rubbed out. But I'm just trying to get... <coughs> Marks in there to get the feel of this building and grumbling along through here. Getting that, that up part. But still, even though I've rubbed in a lot of pastel, there's still enough tooth on here to pull the um, pastel off. I'll just go back to my warm white because mm -hmm. it's more manageable. And Carol, we've got maybe about 10 minutes before we we uh, we do a little sharing and then uh, a couple announcements and then we sign off. I can't believe it's already 7.40. Sorry, 41, excuse me. Geez, I talk a lot, I don't. Oh, no, no, we're having a great time. <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. It does, doesn't it? Especially when you you love what you're doing and you want to share. So oh, yeah. it's off. Yeah, well, we really want to thank you for hosting this uh, this theme Thursday. It's a oh. great, great theme. I'm glad you've all enjoyed it. It was just such, you know, such yes. an opportunity to be able to share with you. So what a privilege you. to have you demo. Yeah. You're not Beautiful. <laughs> I wish you could see the snow in my backyard right now. <laughs> Take pictures. Well, there you go. Maybe, tomato maybe, plants maybe, covered. Maybe that's the next thing, Linda. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Where about so, in Nevada do you live? <laughs> Where about in Nevada are you, are you, do you live? I live up in Minden, Nevada, near Lake Tahoe. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. oh yeah. Oh, yeah, because... Yeah. Actually, I was planning to go to Lee Vining like next week, and I don't know, maybe I won't be able to get over the pole. Oh, it'll be okay next week. It's just okay. this weekend when we're having a big craft show here <laughs> in Johnson <Lane. laughs> Oh. There was a big story on the radio about uh, the uh, scuba divers cleaning out Lake Tahoe. Yes, they're really? doing it all summer. Uh, it's, it's really interesting what they were talking about. This is, uh, there's an awful lot of jewelry has been accidentally dropped uh, but, really? Uh, yeah, they're finding all sorts of stuff. And then well, you have to realize that in Reno, when they used to have the divorces, they threw their rings into the Truckee River. No. Uh, <laughs> yes. Do they get that to keep what they rings. find? I don't so know. I'm sure that yes, they found. There's a huge grant that they've got, but I think the mafia dumped a lot of stuff in the Lake Tahoe, right? <laughs> yes. They're keeping it really clean. 
Oh, there's no dead bodies in there. Well, they're, they're wrapped in concrete. <laughs> oh, they just found a body that's been there for quite oh, a few geez. years <laughs> because it's so cold. You know, the, the, the ocean, the lake goes down. I don't oh, know how okay. many thousands of feet. That's yeah. funny. Uh, that's let's funny. see here. So, um, again, our next theme Thursday is going to be June 3rd. Mark your calendars, June 3rd. Uh, we're still looking for. Uh, we're still looking for uh, some themes. So if any 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 member wants to uh, pick a theme and and uh, make sure that we get uh, uh, some images of your work and a little write up as to why you chose that theme, we'll get that to the to Lynn and we'll have the Mailchimp announcement go out next week. How about so, nocturnes? Yeah. Nocturnes uh, night. What's that? I said, how about nocturnes? Oh well, let's see. We got uh, any takers? We got any takers for uh, for some themes? Um, so so yeah. Make sure you you get uh, if you pick a theme, uh, let us know within the next few days, and uh, we'd love to get that out. All right, all right. There we go. I'm just about finished. I've just put a bit of pale yellow up in there. Oh wow! Hopefully it all just comes wow. up that way. Wow. There's a bit of cloud up the top there. I'm just going to see how that comes in. Yep, that'll work. Right, done. Bonito. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Gosh, wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. You see it? Oh, I can't see it. Wow. Beautiful. It looks really beautiful. Oh, good. Yeah, that looks really nice. <laughs> okay, well, look, guys, thank you so much for allowing me to keep chatting through all of this and just, <laughs> just talk away. <laughs> yeah, no, no way. This is, this is, this is excellent. Um, like I said, you know, time just flew by. Um, and, oh, yeah. We're, we're, at, we're, at, we're at 745. Uh, so, you know, we've got just a, a little, about 15 minutes uh, until it's, it's over. So, so just to, uh, do you have any, a little bit of a recap, uh, Carol, anything you want to say uh, about your process, uh, anything, you know, where, where can uh, we see more of your work? Okay, so I have got a website that you guys know about. It's called caroloakley.com. And there is another website called oakleyfineart.com. Okay. That's probably okay. the bigger of the two. That's got more information on there. Uh, the thing with this that I would just like to uh, remind you about is when you're doing these, you don't have to do the whole picture, just take a little section. It's about working your tone first. So really the whole process for this is about tone and colour and the transition between the tones by using colour. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the main thing you have to do is get those dark tones in first and then you can transition up into lighter tones by diluting the... Uh, medium that you use like methylated spirit or the isopropyl alcohol that's why i don't put the light tones in i use that to thin out and create the light tones for the underpainting and then i put some of the same color back over the top as dry pastel and then work and color mix as i go through getting lighter and lighter yeah, that's really, yeah, really lovely. Really cool. thank, thank you so much for picking this week's theme. I mean, this is this is excellent. Um, so, so yeah, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to experiment on, on some clouds. So this is this is excellent. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Well, you know, uh, we want to uh, we want to remind everybody that our next uh, our next theme Thursday is on June third, uh, six thirty Pacific Standard Time until eight o'clock p.m. And uh, we'll have that on our website soon. Um, and again, if any member wants to pick a theme, just let us know. You can always email us at info at pssewebsite.org. That's info at pssewebsite.org. You can find our website 
Uh, and we've got a great blog and tutorials. Uh, so that's at pssewebsite.org. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, just look at Pastel Society of Southern California. Uh, we've got some excellent videos and we're gonna keep posting those videos up uh, with uh, demos. Uh, and we've got uh, Joe Mancuso did a wonderful demo that's on, uh, that's on YouTube, you can see that. Uh, Mary Asin as, as well did a demo. We've got uh, Tony Elaine's demo coming up here in a couple of days. Uh, that's going to go onto our YouTube channel. So we've got we've got some excellent demos from uh, March of the Mentors. Uh, well, that will also be posted by this weekend. So uh, look forward to that. And uh, and if anybody wants to share uh, some of their work that they're working on right now, let's let's see it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm I'm working on this. Um... Let's see, Minnie. I'll give you a quick sec here. My I'm, spotlight now. Yeah. I'm. I'm... Nice. Hey! I, I decided to do a, a very uh, sunset -y, a sunset sky um, with the San Diego on the bay, and, and this is the this is the photograph I'm using. Oh, oh like yeah. yours better. <laughs> <laughs> and very dramatic, the, yes. The reflection. So I still haven't built uh, the buildings. Uh, these will be the San Diego skyline. The buildings will be eventually, and the reflections on the water. Oh, nice! Yeah. So I'm still working on the on the sky. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you, Carol. Okay. All right, you guys. You know, I just want to let you know that uh, when we had our first thing Thursday, our first one. This is our fifth now. Uh, we had about 16 members. We've easily doubled that now. So, you know, this is, this is a nice gathering. This is really nice. And uh, uh, all right, well, you know what? Anybody else want to share? We've got a few minutes here. Uh, I'll go. You, uh, Larry, Larry, let's see real quick here, Larry, and then we'll go to, let's see, spotlight. Oh, Ooh, wow, oh yeah, it. look at that. Nice. Hey, very nice. Larry, look at the atmosphere in that. And, nice. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, Beautiful. this is, this is out, out of my sister's front yard. She tell. lives in Tucson, oh. and, and they get these wonderful storm clouds come through, and I'm usually out there taking pictures and watching the lightning. Nice. Oh. That's light. Just oh, you get some thank cover. You. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, that was that was great. Thank you. Uh, all right. Anybody else? Yes. Uh, if you if you uh, if you. Uh, uh, dis if you don't disable me, I can show you something. Uh, what's that? I I've got a, 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 a pastel on my screen. On my oh, it's on your screen. Okay. Uh, so that's when I share it. Host disable participant screen sharing. Okay. Hold I don't on. know if you can do that. Okay. Hold on just a second. Pretty good. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I'll try. Uh, screen share. Okay, so there it is here, and I'll share that. And so this oh, is wow. oh, nice. this is the one that's in the destination art exhibition that's open right now. Uh, and this is, uh, as I was saying, you know, it's a, it's it's the end of the end of the day. Yeah, and you get a very different uh, set of formations, including the turquoises that Cal was talking about mm -hmm. over to the left. Uh, and then you get some heavy dark uh, violets and purples and stuff like that. Yeah. And it, it's very random. It's, 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 it's changing all the time. But uh, there it is. Very nice. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, very all right. Well, you know what, let me, give me just a quick second. Uh, let's see. Who else? You know what? I, Lupe, what are you working on? I want to see. Let's see. You are. Where's Lupe? Hold on a second. Lupe. There you are. You want to share? Yeah, let's see if I can. I can do this. Okay. Uh, oh, nice. Can you see this is the one actually that we started last week uh, with backlighting. Oh, yeah. So I still have work to do on it, but it's, it's fun. I'm enjoying. This is making me actually do something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's looking great. Thank you. 
Uh, <laughs> all right. Hey, Otto, I yeah. have something to share. All right, hold on a second. Let me let me go to gallery view, and that makes it easier to spotlight people. There you go. Okay. Go um, ahead. I'm doing this portrait of a girl reading. Yeah, look at outside. that. Outside, I don't know if you can see it. But... Yeah, we can. Yeah, no, we can see that. Yeah. yeah. So that's excellent. Just, uh, got still on the background bench and leaves and trees and you know get more shadows in here so it takes a long time <laughs> yeah no no i hear you no that's really, like not, you. really, really nice. now i wish i could put some clouds in here <laughs> <laughs> go for it yeah <laughs> just do it <laughs> that's like excellent he <laughs> looks like wow. you <laughs> oh <laughs> That's a no portrait. <laughs> uh, yeah, anybody else? Anybody else? Well, I could show mine. All right, let's see. Hold on, see. Hold on. 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 <laughs> anyway, I, I really enjoyed doing this. This was really, really a lot of fun. Thank you. No, no, oh, wasn't it? It was a good workshop. I loved it. Demo. Yeah, really demo yeah. What about you, Anna? Anna, do you want to share anything? Anna? Anna's iPad? <laughs> Anna's iPad. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I was thinking. Um, uh, to draw, but I uh, I didn't unfortunately. No, that's okay. That's okay. I, 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 I didn't have reference, you know, and uh, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch, you know. But I love it. Thank no, you. No, that's okay. You know, because um, what happens is, uh, you know, we we, you know, I know there's a lot of people who kind of stay quiet and stuff. I just want to make sure that you know everybody wants to share, get to share. So <laughs> you know, um, yeah. All right. Well, any anybody yeah. else? I'm glad, thank you for being here. You know. Yeah, like, it's my first time. Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy to see everyone. You know. Yeah, there's no pressure. If you want to work or just chat, it's fine. Or just look. So this is this is nice. Um, all right. Anybody else? I don't want to miss anybody. We've got uh, got just a couple more minutes. If anybody wants to share, anybody? Well, I'll I'll share mine. Uh, who is that? Let me let me check. Uh, Sylvia. Sylvia. All right, Sylvia. Let me spot right here. Let's see. I'm not quite sure. All right. <gasps> Wow. Yeah, back it up just a little bit. Back it up just a little bit. Back oh. up. There you go. Yeah. Very yeah. Good. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Cool. Love your colors. Yeah. What did you? What did yeah, you? I love the colors and the movement. Yeah. It's, it's great. That's exciting. Okay. I'm bashful. Uh, so oh, that's it. <laughs> no, 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 no. So wait, what did you? What did you? What are you working on? What are you working on? Uh, the, the substrate. What the paper? Oh, it is a uh, UART. UART. Yeah, I love you. Yes. Yeah. And I, I found that uh, some of the different pastels that I've used, I had used water because it initially it said water, mm -hmm. and some of them dissolve and some of them don't. Uh, uh, the pastel, you know, it, it depends on their their makeup, right? You know, just like everything, their mineral makeup. Yes. Um, you know, yes. so so it's always good that if you want to use water, I like to put in just a little bit of alcohol in there to break that surface tension, mm -hmm. okay? and that will help with that. You yes. Know. Uh, so it's no different than when I'm reconstituting some uh, pastel dust into, yeah. into pastels, workable pastels. Mm -hmm. I add just a little bit of alcohol to break that surface tension, and I'm able to bind them together much easier. So. Yeah. Well, I, this was great fun, and I first time I ever joined yeah, you on a Thursday. Great fun. Thank you. That yeah. was excellent. Uh, all, right. all right. Well, you guys, let me see. I uh, if if you're working, if you're, I hope you're working on some pieces for our show, which is Make Your Mark. This is our third annual. I can't believe it, our third annual. We have excellent judges. Uh, we have Bethany Fields. Uh, we have Michael oh. Freeman. Yeah, we have Michael Freeman, right? So, so our Make Your Mark is an international show. And so what we try to do is we try to get international judges. And uh, so from the States, uh, we have Bethany Fields. Uh, from New Zealand, we have Michael Freeman. And from Egypt, we have uh, uh, Egypt. Shafi. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm, why am I going so blank? I'm, I apologize. Uh, so um, and and so we are we are excited to to uh, have this uh, third annual show. Again, it's you can find all that information on our website. How to submit all that good stuff. 
Uh, we're using online jury shows, but you can find all that info on our website. Hala Shafi, sorry, I, I'm so sorry for I, I, I went blank on our first name, uh, but uh, you can find that on our website uh, again at at, uh, at uh, pssewebsite.org. Um, and if you haven't, uh, we're also on Instagram. So if you if you're on Instagram and you want to follow us, uh, you'll get some more info there as well. Um, so if uh, that's it. No, does anybody else want to share? If not, I'll, I'll show you what I'm working on. It's been taking Oh, yes. Let's see. see. Let's Some see of you have seen this already. It's just that I've, I've been working on several projects, and so I've been away from it. But now I have to sell it because it's very possible it's going to a new home. So, um, oh, great. Yeah. So this is... Uh, this is gonna. This is for the show. Uh, it happened to had to be again. It's been. I've been working on this for a while. Oh, oh. But I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Let me I spotlight. Any dependent. Wow. Uh, uh, you know what? Let me spotlight. Hold myself. it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Yeah. yeah. Right, hold on a second. Let me yeah. let me spotlight myself so that you guys can see this. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. So this is on UR eight hundred. Eight hundred. Yeah. Wow. UR 800. And, and what kind color. of underpainting did you use? Uh, this is watercolor underpainting. And, and then I'm layering all the pastel on top of that. So it's still got a ways to go. But, uh, wow. but again, this is, this is, it's getting, it's overexposed because this light, I don't know if you can see it any better in the dark, but you know, but it's, I mean, yeah, you can't see it. Wow. Um, no, but, it's beautiful. Thank you. So it's, yeah, it's still taking some time. It's all the intricacies and the nuances, what I enjoy doing. So, um, but it's also very suited to um, what we've been through in the past year because um, the camellias in, in many cultures have uh, some great significance. And um, in Victoria, in the Victorian age, if you sent someone a pink camellia, it meant that you longed for them. Um, in, uh, in Japanese culture, it's a sign of rejuvenation. Um, and it is one of the few flowers that can bloom in the harshest of winters and, you know, and uh, in, in, in thick snow. And so it's just a reminder of the good things that are to come. So there will be a better day. And so- um, well, We needed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that life will bloom yeah. again. And so- um, That's so cool. And, and so that's, uh, you know, I, I like to, I, many of my pieces are allegorical. And so that's one of the pieces that will be in the show to Hatchby along with another piece that's called solace of the foregone seasons. And so, um, you know, I'll be, I'll, be, uh, I'll be showing those pieces. But, uh, but anyway, I, I wanna thank everybody for joining us. It is eight o'clock now. Uh, oh. put this on, on, yeah, I know, it went by so fast. By fast. Yeah, so I wanna put this on gallery view. Uh, and also, you guys- uh, with uh, Dave's can, I, can, I, can I just mention something? Sure. That uh, you are having a competition. Yes, you are. And yes, you, uh, are. you have to use you are paper. That's right. That's so if you, if you guys uh, go onto the UART site, they have, they're having a competition. So I'm not sure when the deadline is, but it's pretty close. It's um, on the website too, on Enter a Show. Oh, um, did you put it on, on, on? I did. Okay, okay. so you can go to our website. It's on the thing. Oh, nice. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, Lupe, Lupe um, is trying to put up as many shows as possible for us so that you guys have the option to uh, submit your works. We have obviously our PSSC sponsored shows and then we have the non uh sponsored shows for, but but we put them up there so that it encourages you to submit your work into other shows many of them with great prizes um and some great notoriety so uh we encourage you to submit to those shows um so once again thank you so much for joining us uh on this week's theme thursday which i'm really happy to see everybody's faces uh it won't be long before we can see each other again uh, for all our members around the globe, thank you so much for joining us. This will this will, is one of those formats we will that will not go away. Uh, we're gonna keep this we're yes. gonna keep this this popular format going. Yeah, so, it's so great. thank you. We can always you can always revisit this on on YouTube. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to us, uh, yeah. do so on, on at YouTube, and uh, we'll keep these videos uh, coming. So thank you once again. I want to wish everybody a, a great night, a great morning, a great evening, and uh, and we'll see you next time. Okay. All right. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.